Good morning, all. <clears throat> I want to give everyone an update. As you can see, I went through it. And damn, I do look pretty good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Gotten fantastic feedback. So yesterday, uh, shaved my head, raised some money uh, for the St. Baldrick Society. I'm going to put a link. Fantastic organization, so all volunteer. Um, and according to their statistics, uh, they actually are the biggest fundraiser for research and childhood cancer, other than the federal government. And as we know, I don't know if the federal government counts that much since they just print all the money they give away. Uh, <clears throat> super special thanks to my friend Dave and Chris, who uh, also shaved their heads to raise money. That was fantastic. Uh, Dave, Dave signed up for it same day yesterday. Can't believe it. Uh, really was a fantastic day. Uh, you know, had a little, some bouts of nausea, but uh, hey, I didn't throw up or poop my pants in a public place, so that's always a win. Yeah, uh, get used to it. I'm gonna be talking poop sometimes. <laughs> uh, had a little a little bone pain overnight, and I did wake up early, 4:30 this morning. But I won't even count that as um, insomnia since uh, I feel completely refreshed. I've been up a few hours now. Um, I want to thank Sandra. She did some Reiki, if I pronounced that right. Um, so otherwise, you know, it's five, six days after chemo session number two, uh, and I'm doing well. The chemo brain is one thing. So, uh, I, I will do that. I just wanted to, to give a shout out and I pray I don't miss anybody, but, uh, everyone came out yesterday to St. Baldrick's at the, uh, at the shed at the stove house in Huntsville. It was fantastic. Uh, Linder, Jason, Dave, Chris, Becky, AJ, Nate. Yeah, I'm reading off a list. <laughs> Justin, Heather, Amelia, Colin, Guire, Kelby. Of course, my brother and sister-in-law, Ronnie and Tammy, JT. Uh, especially like to thank the people who actually donated. Um, Michelle, Sabrina, David, Christian, and of course, Joe. Uh, <clears throat> So, yeah, that was really good. Um, this is a crazy sensation, <laughs> uh, feeling the head shaved, but uh, did motivate my son. I think he's going to actually volunteer next year to have his head shaved. He grows out a nice big fro uh, this time of year. Uh, and I did put a link to St. Baldrick's uh, in the description for this video. Like I said, it's a fantastic organization. If you're interested in in uh, donating or volunteering for when they have one of their shave events um i highly recommend it <clears throat> so it is pretty good i did want to share a couple uh, uh antidotes um little funny stories so first was uh uh you know you know how you listen to a video of yourself or audio recording like oh it sounds so terrible it sounds so weird but everyone else thinks you're so and of course, most of the people watching this are close friends of mine, and I know at least half of you are sarcastic and would be like, no, Frank, I have no idea what you're talking about. And then I'm so gullible, I would believe you, and I'd try to explain it better, but you are my friends. The same friends that I got two separate t-shirts with this from two different friend groups. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so one of the things that I've already told people in person, I've been probably mentioning it every day since, uh, when I heard my audio and I'm like, oh, I hate listening to my own own voice, how I sound. And my wife told me, she's like, well, you know, Frank, I actually heard your voice before you saw saw me. Saw me and you know, I was instantly attracted. I was like, nice. So it's, please, everyone, understand that these videos are dangerous. You might in unintentionally fall in love with me, but I'm taken. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a little fun with it. A uh, couple, couple other little stories during this whole ordeal. And like I said, is uh, soon I'll make my video of uh, of the whole story of how I found out I had cancer. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> I had a couple good, you know, uh, damn you autocorrect instances. My one friend, when I was going through my first chemo, uh, she texted me and she said, "How are you dying?" <laughs> Obviously, she meant to be, "How are you doing?" I found, and then immediately texted back, "So sorry." I I don't know if the story is gonna relate as funny as I find it, but I found the whole thing uh, hilarious. And then my other friend, Michael, uh, he texted me and he goes, oh, I try to keep di being dizzy. And he meant to keep busy. This is 
all, all those voice to deck. I found that funny too, because it's very appropriate. One of the one of the things I was dealing with a little bit, which has subsided, was having some minor dizzy spells. I think it had to do with losing all this weight. I had to adjust my blood pressure medication. Um, I'm hoping I lose a little more weight. I can get completely off of it. But for now, I'm keeping keeping it where I was. I'm taking one eighth of what I was. So uh, that was good. Uh, so the other thing I found, which is terrifying, is my friend Debbie Regan, the published author, um, has written a book called The Marshmallow Show is Cancelled, which, of course, I bought a book. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily the genre. I do love to read fiction and nonfiction. Um, but I brought it to her, so I like getting authors to sign their books. I have a pretty extensive library that's spelled... That, did I just pronounce it wrong? I know that drives people crazy. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, smells of cheap press wood and Costco furniture. But uh, uh, she wrote in here that I'm actually a character or inspired a character in the book and I am low-key terrified of, I hope I'm not the villain of the story. Uh, but to really see what someone's impression of me is, you know, it might shatter a lot, of, a lot of beliefs I have about myself. We know that's not true. If anything, I'm too cocky. But uh, Anyway, I'm actually going to put a link to that if you're interested. I'm Now I have to read the book. It's been sitting on my nightstand for a few weeks now, maybe a few months. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that was it, man. It was really a fantastic day. Again, want to thank everybody for the support. Um, it really even through all this. Again, I already know I have a superpower. And it's really all the friends I have um, and family and the support system I've got. So thanks, everybody. Talk to you again soon.